Grand Dunes Landscape and Maintenance here, and uh, it's a hot one today, man. It's muggy. I don't know if you guys can see those clouds back over that way, but I got my trusty friend here, my Lorganite. Uh, just dropped twenty-five thousand dollars on the Lorganite this week, and uh, it's a lot of bags. It's got a lot of properties to put out. <clears throat> I hate putting fertilizer out this late in the year, but since I have Bermuda grass here and some other properties. I don't mind so much because <laughs> Bermuda is a nitrogen hog and uh, since Belorganite comes out so slowly, you know, there's only so much that's soluble. I don't mind doing it because it'll last uh, eight, ten weeks depending on the, the uh, soil temperature. But uh, this is my good trusty friend and this is what happens when you fertilize correctly. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know how good that looks. Mm, let's get in close. We haven't cut this yet, but you can see it's nice, lush. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that. But uh, this is for the lawn care net because he loves it when I uh, when I do this. There's more Malorganite, whole back seat full, because I just don't care. It's a work truck. I don't care if it's an Escalade. I've already filled up the dumpster there, and as you can see. These are some dead soldiers, some spent bags there. I don't know, there's probably 20 bags there. Another 100 and something in the, in the garbage. As I uh, fill them up, I, I keep putting bags inside of bags and then I throw them away. But that's not why I'm here today. All I'm here today is uh, to let you know, early September is probably one of the last times you want to fertilize with any nitrogen on a southern lawn. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do any soil amendments or fertilize, I recommend easing back on the nitrogen unless you've got Bermuda and definitely don't go synthetic. Just pass on that guys. Don't do it. Just don't do it. I hope this helps and uh, like I said I do recommend Melorganite and I do use it and uh, if, if you get into a routine of following your holidays like come October you know with this lawn I'm probably going to put down a pre-em that's organic. I'll, I'll probably do a corn gluten mill all over the entire property. I do have a synthetic one that I will be using on one property. I don't know if you can see this, but that's it. Professional crabgrass control, pre-emergent. You can pick that up at your, uh, your Lowe's, sometimes your Home Depot, but mostly Lowe's. Anyway, with that said, um, I only recommend organics because it's great for the, the microbiology in the soil and it's good for the environment i mean there's so many good things to just going organic just do it don't mess around um make sure if you're if you're if you're going into your dormant season if you're in the south continue to water don't let your don't let your lawn dehydrate here i don't have a problem this month where i live in zone 8b myrtle beach south carolina has been nothing but a monsoon we've had more than enough rain it's it rained this morning actually and we're out here cutting grass too today so I gotta get to work, guys. Appreciate your uh, your um, your time. Just watching watching my videos. I hope that I help you with anything. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me here or at any of the social media sites that are listed down below in the description. Those can help you. If you have a question, I'm gonna tell you I'll answer it for free. It doesn't cost you a thing to ask me a question. You can ask it in the comments here, and if I can help you, I will. I do appreciate it, and uh, thank you so much. Have a nice day.